This Prisma trick that I'm about to show you comes really handy in your project. You can't even find it on the Prisma documentation. Hey folks, welcome back to Sakura Dev channel and without further ado, let's get into it. So let me show you the problem here. We have a Prisma schema file. You can see it has a lot of model inside it and each model has a relationship with another model. So first let me show you the diagram of this Prisma schema. So here the diagram of the Prisma schema. You can see we have a property model and it has a relationship with the property type and also with the property status. It also has another relationship with the property image. So our problem is that when we are getting the property type from the Prisma client, we just get a type that contains these fields inside it. It doesn't include the property type and the property status model inside the property type. And this will cause many problems in our application. So let me show you what I mean in action. Here I have a properties table component. This properties table has a prop type and this prop type has a list of the properties. So as you can see the property type comes from the Prisma client here. If I hover on that you can see it just has the fields inside the property model. But here we need to be able to access to the property type and also property status of this property type model. So let's get back once again into the diagram here. We actually want to create a property type that contains the property type inside it because we want to be able to access to the value of the property type and the same goes with the property status. We want to be able to access to the value of the property status of this property model. Also we need to be able to access to the property image of the property model. So actually we need a type that contains these three model inside it. So in order to do that, you can do this trick here. You can use the property get payload type. So here, let's just remove that and get the property get payload from the Prisma. So first we need to use the Prisma here. You can see it comes from the Prisma slash client and then it offers a class named property get payload. Prisma generates the name of this model based on your schema file. For example, if your model has another name, for example, person, this would be person get payload. So now here in this property get payload type, we can actually specify the shape of the property type. Here in the generics, we can pass an object and then here we can use the include API. So I'm going to put it here and then here inside it, we can set the status to true. Also, we can do that with the images. So here I'm going to say images and set it to true. We can also set the type, which is the property type to true. So if I get back to the Prisma schema and get to the property model, you can see we have a status field here, which its type is the property status model. We have a type field, which is the type of the property. Don't confuse it with the TypeScript types. It's just a field name that specify the type of a property in a real estate application, okay? And its type is from the property type model. We also have images field that is going to be a list of property images model. So that's why here we set the status to true, images to true, and type to true. So now this properties type here include not only the basic fields of the property model, but it also include the status, images, and type. So now if I hover on the properties here, you can see now it has a status inside it, which has the ID and value. Then it has a images, which its type is a list of objects that each one has ID, URL, and property ID inside it. Then we're going to have the type field, which is an object that has ID and value. And after that, it has the ID, name, description, price, and other fields that belong to property model itself. So now, as I said, these properties type here include the status, images, and type model as well. This feature of the Prisma type generation system comes really handy in your project. So if this video helped you with the Prisma, please like the video and subscribe to my channel to support me. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.